So the first inspiration came from seeing um, I don't a Slayer House, which is a, a video on YouTube of somebody in Middle America who's made a video of their animated Christmas light um, display to Slayer's Rain and Blood, um, and so there's a real it's a really great video that I thought was it's a work of art on its own because of this kind of um, contradiction between this sort of aggressive feeling of the Slayer song uh, animated by these um, holiday lights which are celebrating Christmas you know, you know peace and will to all mankind kind of thing so there's a nice um, uh, clash between these two um, sentiments in the video So I felt that there was maybe a way that I could make a video of my own um, Christmas light display that would um, highlight the kind of embodied experience of looking at video. I saw this cabinet seem perfect because it was a um, the first uh, cabin or house built in this in this valley for, by a, a Norwegian family who had settled in Canada and then used it as a um, to make a farm around. So they were making their own livelihood out of this building, and then I thought this is a perfect way to make this analogy towards this kind of digital self-production. It was very cold there so, because it was in the mountains. Um, so I stayed there for a period of five months to do the project and I put Christmas lights on the house and then started writing the music and attaching the Christmas lights to my computer and writing animation for the lights. Um, and during the day I would work on those things and then at night I would play the shows and the music that I had done and anyone driving by on the road could tune in on a radio station in their car and um, hear the music and see the animation. And I wanted there to be this um, confusion about the work. So when you see the video, you know you're watching a video, you're aware of the, the way the camera is moving and the way the work is installed, but you also realize that there is this other thing that you could experience as well. And so it's confusing to know which is the main experience? Is the video the main experience? Or is actually seeing the house, and seeing the light show at, in the, the Hefley Lewis Creek Valley, Valley, the actual work? It's not clear. And I wanted to bring this forward as a kind of schizophrenia because I think that there is this confusion about everyday performance when we are performing for the cameras that we all have. Um, is the actual presence of your friend important or having the message on on your phone is that important which is the actual friend what is the actual conversation i don't think it's very clear anymore and i wanted to have that um, same kind of confusion in this artwork